Hey, how's it going, everybody? Well, I finally got to get out and pick up a few new kits. Uh, my stash has been getting low. I haven't been building lately. I've got a couple things up here. I had tried to start the Mini Cooper, but uh, the paint supplies I had was running real low. And uh, the flat black, the nozzle clogged up on me. And it was just a disaster, so... I <clears throat> finally got to go out and go to Graves RC. I got a message here. I finally got to go out to Graves RC and pick up a few kits. And uh, unfortunately over there, it's not like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or anything like that where you get uh, online discounts and stuff. So I have to pay full price for the kits, which averages about 25 to 30 bucks. So I wound up dumping about $100 on what I got. So, uh... I'm going to go and pick them up here and show you. Now, a lot of these... A lot of these I already built. Thirty-two, four, five window coupe. Uh, I don't know why the print is coming up backwards for you guys, but yeah, that's the thirty-two, four, five window coupe. I already built that one. That's the uh, the project car that's sitting up by the cabin on the hill. Oh, you found a bucket of dirt? No. Yeah, that's the project car sitting up on the hill there. And I built this one, I don't know how many times, probably like two, three times at least I built that one. So I actually like this one compared to the... Uh, Uh, what's the new one that came out? I forget the uh, the new GMC kit that's basically the same thing as this. It's just uh, like I can't the camo one. It's the same thing. I like this one better. This is the one that was in the uh, my off road diorama that I took to Montapalooza. The one that I put that big blown motor in it and everything. This one was also on the diorama, on the uh, off-road one. 1980 Dodge Ram Charger. I butchered the last one, that's why it wound up on the off-road one, because uh, I tried to chop the top off of it, and I wound up taking out the rear column on the pass. I think, it, yeah, on the passenger side. So, I really butchered that one, but uh, it worked out good, off-roaded it. And this one, I've seen this thing floating around for a while. And from what I, from what it looks like, it's about the same as the, uh, the '83 Olds Hurst, just a slightly different package to it. I guess maybe the motor's different, drivetrain, and all that stuff. But overall, it's the same car, I think. But I'm really happy I got these ones. I don't know which one I want to start first. I was, uh, I put it up. Actually, I took a picture of these when I bought them and uh, put it up on uh, Jeff's Model Car Garage. Jeff's Model Garage, sorry. Uh, he made a uh, Facebook page, Jeff's Model Garage, and I uh, put that up there. And uh, Taylor from uh, Two Tolls Model Garage. Uh, messaged me on Facebook and uh, gave me a great idea to do with the uh, 32 Ford 5 window coupe. He said he had seen at a, uh, a car show or something, some kind of an event that he went to, this guy took uh, a three window coupe, it's basically the same thing, just uh, two extra windows, but took a three window coupe and put giant drag slicks on it uh, and put and did an LS swap with it. That's what it was. Yeah, he did. He put a vet motor on it with giant pipes coming out the side and everything. He sent me a picture of it. And that would be be really cool. Now the picture he sent me, the guy obviously it was a uh, uh, a project car still. It was still in 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 the work, so there was a lot of rust and everything on it. But the idea, I think that'd be pretty cool. Putting a really big blown motor on a small car like that, that'd be pretty cool. So, you got me thinking there, man. You got me thinking. So, I'm going to 
that actually was going to be the uh, the 32 was actually going to be the first one I wanted to dig into and make that a show car. I really wanted to take my time on that. I have a uh, pre-wired distributor kit that I picked up from uh, Monopalooza, and uh, I wanted to use that, and I was going to use it on that. But now, <laughs> now Taylor's got, got 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 me thinking. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna drop some plans and really blow that thing up and see what I can do with it. But uh, so I'm gonna roll the dice. I don't know. As soon as I figure out what I'm gonna, gonna, gonna build, most likely it'll be halfway through, halfway through me building it, and then you guys will find out what I'm building. So, all right, guys, let let, let me get going and do some rock paper scissors over, over here and figure out which one I'm gonna start building. I'll see you later.